Hi, Joe. Hello. Um, thank you for talking to me today. What would you like to talk about? So I'm going to tell you about my recent visit to um, a very well-known restaurant and very special restaurant. Okay, um, great. It's called Al Sea de Can Roca and it's in Girona in Spain and um, it's, it often comes in the like, top two or three restaurants wow. in the world and um, I went last week and well the first thing that was exciting for us was to even get a table because um, we booked a year ago and we had to go you have to go because you can book a year in advance so you have to go online at one minute to midnight <laughs> um, a year before you think you could go um, and keep refreshing refreshing the page until places become available and just go immediately and get the table so well, we were really excited to have the table um, and we were kind of nervous on Friday because we waited a whole year so expectations were really high um, and it was also by chance boiling hot in Girona and it was in the middle of a heat wave it was 44 degrees Oh my goodness. So we were just waiting in our hotel room. We couldn't go outside because it was too hot. Um, kind of wondering what this, this dinner was going to be like. Um, and get, getting all dressed up. So, uh, yeah, we went and the, well, the place is beautiful. All I thought it would be quite... Um, it, it didn't really feel formal, though. The staff were all really friendly and they, they showed us like, the kitchen first. And it's, it's amazing because no one is stressed in the kitchen. Or they did a good job of pretending that they, they weren't. Um, and they were making amazing things. It looked like um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for adults. <laughs> all these little olive trees with amazing like, um, uh, olive kind of confections hanging from them. And yeah, the whole thing was amazing a, a once in the lifetime experience of lots of different courses of tiny beautiful surprising things um what was the best dish well it was, it was all it was all, it was all amazing but i think the the best thing for me was um uh one of the desserts i had a a, a sheep themed pudding wow <laughs> so it was all um so it was like a woolly sheep it was like <laughs> candy floss like made with um like sort of white sugar like you have at the fair um and that was supposed to represent the wool and the sound of the spoon on the bowl made the sound of um, the, uh, the bell on the sheep in the field. And then separately, I had this thing to smell that smelt of wool. So I was like eating this sheep wool and smelling the smell of, of wool at the same time, which it sounds really weird, but it was actually delicious. Sounds incredible. <laughs> it really was. It really was amazing. Wow, thank you for telling us about it. It's a pleasure.